Right, hello everyone, welcome back to Flight Simulator. So, we are calling absolute BS on the last episode of um, our adventures in Flight Simulator, um, which basically caused us, it, it said that we crashed into nothing, which was just total BS. So we're continuing from um, Fife Airport, which is where we left off. I've just used Auto Park because, well, I didn't really have a great deal of choice. Um, and we're doing another short flight from um, Fife Airport, which is where we finished off, all the way over to Dundee, which isn't actually all that far. It's about probably 15-20 minutes flight as the crow flies. However, in the previous episode, we were taking off from Cumbern, basically, if you imagine the airport. We were taking off from Cumbernauld, going straight in to Fife. However, the two airports are kind of... Uh, parallel which means that uh, we've got quite a wee bit more flying to do technically so we're um, parked up ready to go uh, in actual fact this is my second attempt at recording this because the game crashed I'm gonna skip through quite a lot of stuff because I am starting to kind of push into my uh, recording limits now um, so we are well yes we are here so um Let's just check. So, we need to set the alternator. Yeah. We've actually got a crosswind, that might, that's going to be fun. Um, okay, so, I don't have a clue what the alternator is. We'll actually deal with that in a bit of a minute. In fact, I should be able to tell. Let's get, let's get radar contact up. Not radar contact, what am I thinking of? We're actually not flying with radar contact today. Uh, options, escape logs, debugs. I actually just want it to tell me what weather uh, conditions. Here we go. Is this what we want? Perfect. Okay, so. Altimeter 1, one zero, 0, 1, 2. two. And check. So that's our altimeter sorted. So um, I can't remember if I already said that this episode. You don't have access to this little checklist here, which is a wee bit of a pain, but just bear with me. So I'll turn it across. Engine master, blah, blah, essential bus off, everything off. Horizon emergency guard should be off and guarded, which it is. The ELT should be armed. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. So it should be in the arm position, which it is. Okay, circuit breakers should be checked in. I don't think they're particularly responsive. In fact, where are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, they're, they're all over here. Um, so I don't think any of them can pop out. Yes, well, they're all, they're all fine. Okay, they're all fine. That's good. Uh, flap selector should be in the up position. So let's just make sure it is. And in fact, I get the sneaking suspicion that the setting hasn't saved. So let's just very quickly go into controls and make sure if we go to control axis, and again, you can't see any of this, but don't worry, I'll just be one little second. The flap axis oh, is, is assigned. So why is it not responding? Oh, no, that's the heater. Oh, that was a flap switch. Why have I never noticed this before? Where in Dickens is the flap switch? Heater, heater, parking brake. Good God! This 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 aircraft is a shambles. Does it even have flaps? I'm quite sure it has flaps. Oh well. Uh, we'll leave them in the raised position for just now. I think this is uh, okay. Fine. Um. Okay. Right. Flaps are up. Okay. So. Peter heat off, electric fuel pump off, that's fine. Electric master on. So we'll get them on. Uh, da, 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 da. Rudder pedals should be adjusted, they should all be fine. Passengers, hi passengers, let's actually just get our seatbelt on. So they're going to book on up. Uh, rear door closed, front canopy closed, we've done that. So we need to power on this thing, which is done by the do 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 okay so do we have a manual gauge for the fuel gauge no we don't that's a bit dangerous isn't it ah there's a flaps so flaps should be fully up which they are perfect right so let's just uh, let's just zoom in a little bit here so what we're looking for fuel 
quantity, 92, 92, that's fine. Okay, good, right. Time service logged. Um, so what we now want is the strobe lights on, because we're, uh, is that on? Okay, it's now in the on position, because we're gonna be taken off momentarily. So let's just see what's happening. So we've got two aircraft flying around us. I'm just kind of curious, because we have an almost direct crosswind. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we use, which is interesting. Um, okay, right, fine. Uh, noted. Okay, so now we're fine to do the starting checklist. So let's uh, let's just tune in traffic. So as I said earlier, we're not using radar contact. Um, I know what, what is the wind? That's not us. So what, what? It's sixteen. Uh, okay, actually, that's a good thing. So I can, I can see in the screen that you can't see um, that they are using runway 25. So we will do that. Ooh. So we're going to be going to Dundee Airport shortly, but for the moment we're just kind of taking off down here. That's fine. Right. Um, anyway, that was just one thing that was by the by. So we're currently doing... Um, Start up. So the parking brake is set. All that nonsense is going. So let's just start up. Perfect. So all of the various aeronautical tools are going to start up, and I can't see the aircraft. That just where, where did it go? Oh yes. Okay. So this is kind of the. It's silly. So this is an unfortunate add-in. Oh, okay, that's quite convenient. Yeah, so unfortunately this is a kind of legacy issue with um, the easy dock camera system that I use. And in fact, it's actually now locked itself, which is a pain in the ass. Um, okay, fine. So, um, it is working. But it's, okay, it is now doing this, which is fine. Okay, so uh, now that the engine started, we've got to get the petered heat on, which is done via good God. I feel this not. Isn't, isn't on. So if we check the amps, the amps should be changing, huh? and it's not. Okay, that's concerning. Uh, fuel selector switch should be in the middle, which it is. Um, Peter heat. Oh no, it is, it is. Okay, it's barely noticeable, but it is. Fine. Okay, so um, FMS is ready to go. So we should probably get set up with the autopilot. Which is the last thing that we'll be doing. So lock heading to course is not actually what we wanted. What we wanted is this. So runway two five zero. We're going to do altitude, uh, which is. Um, okay, this isn't working amazingly well for me, um, but there we go. Okay, so that's all sorted. Transponder, um, fine, park and brake. Okay. So we didn't do a fully cold start, which is why a lot of this is quite easy and quick to do. Um, so yes, so final check, there's nothing kind of happening around us. 
the aircraft that was there has now gone so we're now just going to release the parking brake and gingerly go off towards so um, in in the last episode, um, I basically decided to try out a program which kind of cuts back on the detail of scenery in order to give us slightly more frames per second. And while it did manage it ever so slightly, in fact it almost doubled it effectively, but double 15 is only 30, um, it did basically mean that we were flying a potato. These are the wrong way around. Or am I the wrong way around? Yeah, this is this is runway twenty five. I really wish that wouldn't come up, um, because it's a wee bit unrealistic. Anywho, not important. Okay, so we're taxiing to the north. Right. Okay. I forgot about the lights, so we've got all of our lights on that need to be on. We're going to lower our flaps to take off. We are actually quite heavy. Uh, I, I think we're 99% of maximum takeoff rate. Because we have three passengers on board, no cargo, and a full complement of fuel. So, yeah, so you can see the, uh, the effects of... Oh, well, no, you can't because it's not working. Apparently, frictionality... So, okay, fine. So both frictionality and the program that I previously used to control the frame rates is not working. So I might take a quick bark break here and see if I can get them running. Right. Wait, what was that? Uh, is that here? No. Okay, so we have announced our takeoff, and while the radio chats away behind us, we are now going to perform said takeoff. So, taxi lights off, landing lights on. Everything fine, everything, is, well, oil pressure is in the slightly low because we're not actually at speed, voltage is good, everything is good, altimeter set and all that silly nonsense. Now I'm a wee bit concerned about the flaps, so we do need to wait for the flaps to come down fully, which we now are. Right. What? It's every time I look away. You know what? I, I think I think one of my buttons has been accidentally assigned. Yeah. Okay. So the button to look straight ahead has been accidentally reassigned to flaps, which is actually very dangerous. So I, I was going to say I'll, I'll sort it later, but no, I will need to sort it just now. Um, so what we want is the button for flaps. Right, sorry about that, we're having a lot of technical hitches, but we are now finally fine to go. So, let's just, whoa, 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 okay, great, so. So, there is a very strong crosswind, as we talked about. Okay, so we're, we're off, whoops. Ever so slight bounce, but we are off. <laughs> We're off into some quite extreme turbulence, actually. Okay, so we've kind of rotated quite a bit away. Right. Okay, so. Right. 
too much speed here. Whoa! So this is a very bouncy cockpit. So we're just going to raise the flaps just now while we're on a bit of a slide, which will now allow us to pick up some speed. So we're going to go nearest airport uh, to... Okay, this isn't actually working. Um, okay, so because it's so, the conditions are so bouncy, I'm going to cheat somewhat and I'm going to pause in order to kind of work out where on earth I am going with this. Because there's an autopilot master switch somewhere. Everything is ever so slightly wrongly labeled, so it's really hard to kind of see where it is. So we've got that for altitude. Some. So this is. I don't know. So we're autopilot, there we are. Okay, great, so that's all sorted. So slight cheating has now been finished. Oh, hang on. Again, we're just gonna cheat at this because it thinks, it thinks that we are f uh, aiming for 400 feet. So this is in the aviation industry known as a, um, a controlled descent into terrain, which is effectively where you are in control of the aircraft in the sense that it's on autopilot, um, but you're not control of the aircraft because it is effectively going into the ground. Okay, great. So, heading. and check. Uh, I'll tell you what guys, this is actually pretty insufferable, so I'm going to go potato up the graphics quite considerably. Uh, right, okay. So Dundee Approach. Uh, let's just... So we've got the Air Force flying around the place. Okay, so. Okay, so the squawk will do automatically. Oh, for God's sake. So this is why you have to hate default ATC. Anyway, squat. Okay, good. Okay, great. Um, so let's just go back. Because I'll need to acknowledge that. Oh no, no. Okay, um, altimeter. No. Go away. Shut off. Altimeter. Okay, so <laughs> this is all just a wee smidgen messy at the moment. Oh no, 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 no. Crap. It's not what we wanted at all. Okay, great, perfect. Uh, right, okay. Great, so it's actually given us, it's, yeah, right, okay, so it's given us full landing clearance. Um, okay. 
So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go in here. And where is navigation? Because of all the head jolting, I'm kind of struggling to see. Uh, actually, it's not nav we're interested in, it is the DME, which I actually can't see settings for. Or indeed a display for. Perfect! Okay, so that's actually RAF. No, it's not. Is it Lucas? No, that must be on D. It can't be done. Let's, let's just have a look. Ah yes, okay, it is done. Perfect, great. So we've kind of we're kind of missing our mark by quite a considerable bit. So yes, um, unfortunately, because of the inherent nonsense of using. Um, So we're actually about to pass over Perth Airport. Oh no, it's not! It might be. So there is an airport down here. It's called Aero. Yes, it's Aero. That's what we're looking at here. There's, I think that's Dundee off in the distance. Um, okay, so what we want to do... Unfortunately, nothing at all is working for me today. So let's just look into the center here. So we're going to change the altitude down to 2000. Okay, great. So, um. Right, so, as you can see, the graphics have gone full potato, hence why we're kind of flying into nothing. This is Perth Airport down here, which is home of the Scottish Charity Air Ambulance, which we decided not to land in, because even you can see from here, uh, the runways are very, very thin, which I don't amazingly like. Aha, so we can kind of see it's right on the coast, so heading... Heading, zero, eight, zero, seven, check. Okay, great. So we're just monitoring our approach in... And yes, so this is this is a debate that we've had quite a lot on um, various platforms. Obviously, this is FSX. Um, we have had this discussion about GTA 5 as well. Um, is what is better? Is it better to have amazing graphics and reasonably poor performance? Because I mean, when I was originally learning to fly in FSX, if you got um, let's just do it. heading. Zero, zero, set and check. Uh, right, okay, I think what we need to do, if possible, is there an option for the vertical speed? Yeah, no, they're in. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I do want the vertical speed to be less. Hmm. Okay. Just because at the moment we're actually going to overshoot. So I think we're probably going to do a little bit of a circle here. So we're just going to go heading 180. We're going to fire us off southbound just until we come to the right altitude. Meanwhile, uh, everything is currently in the green, which is a definitely a good statistics that we want to keep. Uh, 
Okay, so we're just doing this. Yeah, I think the thing that annoys uh, the, my biggest concern is obviously the the multifunctional displays are great and amazingly powerful tools, but because I constantly bounce between various aircraft, it's very hard to learn them all. Uh, let's just do heading two seven zero and check. So that's Errol down in front of us. That's our airport we originally thought might have been done D. Okay. Yeah, because, aha, wait. No. Because it's not the... Okay. Sure. I'm actually facing the wrong way, but sure. Um, okay, so yeah, because no normally there's an option for you to be able to set the navigation. Uh, but... Twenty-five hundred DME. Right. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and look up here because uh, this is going to be important. So heading, um, we'll go for um, heading zero four five seven and check. Okay. Right. So let's just begin to do this. So we're coming in nice and low. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna arrive well below glide slope. So let's just no 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 no. Okay, perfect. So head in. So we can now see the airport. Which is a good thing. Actually, heading, heading. Uh, two, one, two, zero, set and check. Perfect. Perfect. So we need to watch our height with this. So this is probably a good time to kind of very gen gingerly start bringing in the flaps. So let's now just. So we'll pick us up to maybe about 50% throttle and heading. Heading zero nine zero set and check. Uh, nope, that was too early. Heading one one zero set and check. So we're just kind of bouncing in using the autopilot. I tell you what, it's actually not looking. Is one that thousand. Bad? Shut up. It's not looking too potato-ish, actually, which is quite a surprise. It's behaving very potato-ish. Okay. Okay, we've accidentally dipped a little bit below uh, glide slope again, which is fine. One thousand. Shut up. So, um, yeah, this aircraft is kind of pissing me off because you can only. Oh no, here we go. It's it's. Oh no, no. Okay. Heading one zero zero set and check. Heading one one zero set and check. Okay, so we're just monitoring the approach in at the moment. Now we seem we we do seem very low. But we're now just going to hold here. 500. Okay, 
Zero, Stop. zero, set and check. Okay, so we're just monitoring the approach. The very poor frame rates of this game does make this very difficult. Heading. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to fly in by hand now, so we're just going to get ourselves ready to take the autopilot off. Okay, we have full control of the aircraft. Apparently, no, we don't, because heading and altimeter aren't working. So just for the sake of not killing ourselves, we'll take it off. So, altimeter and autopilot. So everything is now off. I'm not sure why that didn't happen in the first place. Um, okay. So we're basically going to hold at 600 feet, at about 75 knots, just until we get onto the glide slope. We are full flaps deployed. Now this is a four light PAPI system. So we've got one white. We need to wait on two white. Which is now. So let's just start tipping us in. So our descent rate should be about minus 500, which it is not, so let us make it so. 500. Shut up. Okay, we're going to end up going too high soon. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're actually too low. So once again, it kind of looks like we're landing into a potato, but hopefully the extra graph, the extra frame rate, one makes it slightly more watchable, and two, and more importantly, it makes it slightly more flyable for me. As the pilot of this little craft, I would not like to crash. Uh, we are kind of slipping across. Approaching minimum. Shut up. So I do sometimes get comments about the fact that I use a GPWS in um, a small aircraft. As I say many, many times, I am not a professional pilot, and as such, I do need a couple of little aids to help me um, to help me get the best out of simulators. Minimums. It's not a thousand percent realistic, but it does help my enjoyment just that little bit more. Also, it particularly helps when we are landing in potato graphics, which we're kind of doing at the moment. So we're a little bit high, but the runway here is quite big, so. We're dropping the throttle now to 25%. 100. 100 feet. We're off to the side, so let's just bring it in. 50. 40. 30. 20. Let's freaking nail this bad boy! 10. Perfect. Right. Excellent. Okay, there's no need for brakes because the friction will actually just bring us in. Okay, so the control wants us to vacate, which is fine. Okay. So at this point, we would normally bring the flaps up, but given that um, given that we can't, because um, the game will penalise us if it still thinks that we are on a takeoff roll. Sorry, a landing roll. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a taxi wheel. Let me just come to a stop for a second, just while I very quickly check. Indeed, it is a taxiway, so this is taxiway C. Oh, we can see the line now, right? Fine, so. So we're just going to come off. Perfect, so we're here. Okay, so we have to contact the ground, which is actually on the same frequency. So now that we're on the ground, let me just unpotato everything. Uh, acknowledge your ground handoff. Perfect. Okay, so landing lights off. Perfect. So we've been given permission to. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come on. Come on, behave. 
Uh, okay, you're doing this stupid thing. Come on. I did, but unfortunately you're talking through a game that broke. Now, apparently we've been given the fuel bay, which is total BS. Um, mostly because I don't know where it is, so let me zoom out. So, we're looking for the fuel box. Okay. Very well. So, after the terminal... Ugh, I'll tell you what. We've, um, we've turned the... We've turned the graphics up now that we're on the ground, and uh, it has kind of collapsed the frame rates somewhat. Um, okay, so basically we're to go to the fuel box, because that is, rumour has it, the only place that is free. Um, okay, let's, now that we're off, let's just raise the flaps. So our taxi light was on, our landing light was off, that's fine. Okay. So we're taxiing along taxiway B, and we've been given the fuel box. As you can tell by the presence of actually quite some large jets, there is not really. Oh, there's a random light in the middle of nowhere. I do hope that does not cause a crash. Otherwise, I will be most, most upset. So this is Dundee Airport Terminal, which we are not given permission to uh, to um, to actually into because that is for the big boys. Uh, instead, we're looking for the fuel box, which actually, having said that, I think is somewhere. So we take a left at the kink. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, we can see the general aviation parking, so I guess that's kind of where we're going to. So we go down a little kink that's here. Yeah, okay, we, we, we can see where it is. Okay, so this is the fuel box, which is we've, where we've been given permission to park up for the evening. So let's just bring ourselves to a stop on the T, and we're actually arriving. What? Go away. So yeah, sorry, I was just getting because we've parked in the fuel box. Uh, FSX has thrown a wee. Uh, pardon me, FS passengers has thrown a wee bit of a tizzy. So we'll now put our brakes on and um, we're free to do the close down checklist. Uh, so let's just get the checklist back up and we will do a proper to cold shutdown. So parking brake is set. Let me just, um, let me just tune away from comms at the moment. Just to give us a little bit of peace and quiet. Um, okay, so parking brake is set, engine instruments checked and green. Everything's green except the oil pressure, which is low because it's not on fuel thing, which is fine. And uh, did the ELT fine? So it's a case of so the avionics master, which is this one, should go to the off position. Uh, electrical consumers, so. That's all of these. So strobe light, position lights, strobe lights should all be off. Oh, except strobe. Whoops. Strobe back on. Throttle should be set to a thousand RPM, which, in fairness, I don't actually know what it is. And okay, great. So it doesn't actually say anything about the feather. Center about fully feathering the thing, which is interesting. Okay, so it does. So mixture to the idle cutoff, which is now done. The ishin key, no, wrong way, you bell end. It goes to the off position, which it now is. Um, we can now switch off the strobe lights now that the engine is off, and now we can get the rest of things off as well. Perfect. So now that that's done, we can get the uh, passengers to have their seat belts taken off, 
and we will open up the door to let them out. Perfect. Perfect. Can't unboard because the door is closed. Wait, how did it, how did it suddenly snap closed? Ah, okay, that's interesting. So it's it's every time I click the middle mouse button, it's closing the door, or is it something that's just bugging out? Yeah, okay, something that's bugging out. Fine. So let's now just uh, end it unnaturally by ending the flight, and let's see what it says about us. So. It's not very often that we get favourable feedback on this, and as such, let me fire up this for you. So, um, let's see. So we were 26 minutes and we predicted 40, so we're 15 minutes and that, that's not too bad. We landed at 150 feet per minute, which is pretty damn good. Landing speed was alright, well above stall speed. Um, we made some money and there was... Oh, turns on when the aircraft is on the parking map. Okay, I, I sympathize with that up to a point, but the engine was on, the strobe light should always be on when the engine on, which is which is that, and we will record that as a flight. So yes, like I say, um, again, it's part of an ever ongoing debate. If we decide to not um, play a game because it has no FPS and I don't have a flight simulator to play, um, I have tried um, X-Plane, but it has number of um, issues, particularly around the areas in which I frequent. Um, so as a result, yeah, we're kind of going to stick it out with FSX until uh, maybe Dovetail's Flight Simulator finally comes along. Um, but we will have to see. So for the moment, this has been a flight from Fife Airport to Dundee Airport, one that has been completed successfully. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this episode of FSX, and I'll see you next time. Bye!